The way that atrial fibrillation procedure is done is through a minimally invasive approach where we put catheters in through the veins in the groin. We actually go up to the heart and we take a very small needle and under ultrasound guidance, we poke a hole across the wall of the heart to get to the left side of the heart, which is the chamber that atrial fibrillation comes from. And in the left atrium, we all have four or five veins that drain blood from your lungs into the atrium. And each of those veins have muscular sleeves around the mouth of the vein where the sleeve connects into the atrium. And in the appropriate selected patients, if we go in and can electrically make the veins silent, where the electrical activation from the heart can't get into the veins, and the electrical activity in the veins cannot get into the heart, that you can drastically reduce the likelihood of having atrial fibrillation long term. And that's the goal of the procedure. We do that by two different ways. We sometimes take a catheter which burns tissue. We call that radiofrequency ablation. And what we do is go point by point by point and make a circular set of ablation lesions around the vein that blocks any of the little nerve fibers that connect the veins to the heart. The other way that we do it is we do it by freezing, where we take a balloon that's larger in diameter than the vein, and the balloon is pushed up against the mouth of the vein and then we inject liquid nitrogen into the balloon, which instead of making point by point by point, freezes in a circumferential manner around the mouth of the vein. The most important take home message with management of atrial fibrillation with an ablation is if you are a candidate for it, it's better to do it now than it is to wait till a later period of time. Because as you get older, your risks go up. As you've had atrial fibrillation over a longer period of time, typically the success of the procedure goes down.